and so we are the we are the the uh, we are the the ape that can, we are the dyspeptic ape the ape that cannot digest its food we blanch bake boil braise and sometimes burn but we can't do it without external help and you can see the power of that by looking at the um, at the um, oh god again I'm not the greatest um, image there but there's a, there we have a chimpanzee with its gut there on the left and a human of about the same dimensions with its gut on the right and in terms of absorptive area in the gut chimpanzees have got about three or four times as much as we have and they need that and they have much more powerful enzymes than we do we've lost many of our digestive enzymes that allow us to break down uh, raw meat let's say um, they need that because they can't cook their food interestingly enough if you feed pet chimpanzees on cooked food they become obese just the same as we do okay so maybe the raw food diet has got a certain amount to uh, to uh, commend it so that's another way in which we've lost our uh, our abilities compared to the ability that must have been held by the common ancestor of ourselves and chimpanzees some seven million years ago. But the news is not good, it goes even further, uh, it goes to the murky world of sex. Um, here we have um, Michelangelo's David, check out his thumb, okay. <clears throat> Um, it's clear that Michelangelo's David is not a particularly realistic image of a gentleman, but of course in Greek statuary it's a statement of purity and the like to, uh, to have a particular, to have small, you know, for a man to have a small penis. Um, so that overstates the um, feebleness of the human penis and uh, the human testicles. If you look at this rather gloomy looking chimp on the right, I don't quite say, see why he's looking so depressed. <laughs> he has uh, two rather prominent features which are considerably more impressive than us, those of our own, okay? And in fact, chimpanzees have got testes far greater than ours and produce far, far more sperm than we do. But he goes further than that. Here's a chimpanzee making, um, uh, oh, <laughs> this is a, uh, things are getting worse, rapid evolution going on. The human sperm count is going down at a tremendous rate, at least in France. Um, <clears throat> I tried to, but they aren't my teaspoons. I tried to find them, but I couldn't find them. Um, but the, so the sp our sperm count is uh, probably a quarter or a fifth that of a chimpanzee. Okay. But it's not just the sperm that's feeble, it's the delivery system. Here's a chimpanzee demonstrating its masculinity. Um, you can see fairly well endowed there, obviously in rather bad temper for one reason or another. Uh, chimpanzees have uh, rather large genitalia, but quite unexpectedly, chimpanzees and all our relatives, unlike ourselves, have spines on the penis. Okay? And those spines, which are quite, um, quite um, uh, solid looking things, are used in what we call mate guarding. In other words, once the chimpanzee has mated with a female, he wants to ensure that the female stays in place until his own personal sperm has had a chance to impregnate her and so the spines make it very difficult for her to get away. Her cats have them too, which is why cats make this horrible row when they're mating in your garden um, late at night. Okay? And it's, uh, it's a striking thing that we've lost it. Here we have um, some ex some, um, an experiment done with, uh, with castrated galagos, which are monkeys, ditto with mice. Normal mi mice have big, have big whiskers and big uh, spines on the penis. Uh, castrated mice and Monkeys have um, no spines on the penis, give, give them testosterone, they grow back again. Now, if you look in humans, uh, if you look at a thing called the androgen receptor, the androgen is the male sex hormone, we have a missing androgen receptor compared to nearly all or many other mammals. So that it's the presence of the androgen receptor that picks up um, testosterone from the bloodstream and that persuades these spines to grow. And we don't have that receptor. You'll see at the top the chimps, macaques and mice have got it, the red triangle in the box, but we simple do simply don't. And we don't have spines uh, as well. So that too is really quite startling. Okay. <clears throat>